All right, show guys. Okay, so I'm just moving some stuff around a little bit so y'all can see everything. Beautiful. Okay. Now the underlying energy is the six of wands here. So this talks about you know victory through your efforts, right? Being recognized for the effort that you've been putting in. What's underneath here? The king of swords. Ooh, so somebody's gonna be rec somebody already knows where you are, okay? The king of swords recognizes you. King of swords is you guys typically, right? You guys are Aquarians. Um, it could be that there's somebody around you that is that recognizes your efforts, right? Because you do have the king of pentacles is to cross the energy. Now at the same time though, this could be that you guys have been doing a lot of work in developing your relationship in a very healthy manner and it's starting to pay off. It's starting to see it. You know, things are starting to, you know, show itself right things are getting exposed here and you got a lot of exposure cards here the sun the seven the six of um six of wands even the high priestess to a certain extent i know she's like the hidden she's the one that has all the secrets right nobody knows what she knows but then at the same time like usually you know she knows right so in a way it's exposed it's it talks about you know it can be exposure in a way but anyway despite all that y'all your current state of being here is the sun so yeah, you're being recognized for um f for you. You're being recognized, um, um, you're being recognized in your life, in your love life. And I really feel like, guys, that this is also seeing. There's also exposure, right? Seeing the path to potential happiness. You guys are able to see that now. Um, definitely hardcore. Okay, you, you and you. It looks like you're marching in that direction here. Now. The devil is is your desired outcome. I don't know if you necessarily want to feel like you're bound to someone or bound to a connection exactly or bound to some certain behaviors or patterns of behaving. Um, I, I think this is, I think this is more of like, you want a deep connection, um, but I don't think you want to feel bound to it. I think you want to belong to someone, but at the same time, I don't think that um, this is some, this. I don't think you guys want to be like, oh my god, I want to be addicted to somebody. Obviously not, right? If some of you guys may just want to get it on, okay? Maybe it's been a long time since you guys have been in, intimate, you know? Shoot. And maybe this is just like, yeah, you guys just want to, you know, you want to be more intimate with your partner. Maybe this could, yeah, could that could be it too. For some of you guys as well, it could be that you want to have more fun and go out there and have a, little, a bit more of a good time. Um, because you do have cards in here that can indicate wanting to have a good time, but the thing here is, is that the devil is in your out, is just in your um desired outcome. You want it, I, I, I'm gonna have to clarify that one. The devil is an interesting one to get because there's so many things that you could potentially want with the devil, so it's really hard to narrow down. And I mean, I may not need to just kind of like narrow that down. I could just list them all, like like I said, fun, intimacy. You guys perhaps want to be, you know, feel close to someone, feel like you belong to someone. Um, you probably perhaps want to overcome certain obstacles or you know get out of this feeling of being trapped in a connection. Right, and this the thing that's keeping you from the devil exactly is the king of pentacles. So this could be that you guys are being more practical and looking at the practical aspects of your life right now. Uh, for right now, honestly, too, it could be that there is somebody around you that is a earth sign. It could be um, a Virgo. Sorry, a yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but it could also be that this is you guys, right? Because you guys come up as fixed energy. You guys are more um, fixed in a way. Well, you guys are very fixed, obviously, because that's your, you know, that's what your your type of sign is. You're a fixed sign. So it could be, you know, and kings are fixed signs. So it could be that perhaps you're looking at a very practical, you're looking at your love life in a very practical way, and perhaps not looking at it in a way of emotions. Um, it could be that here that the king of pentacles is just. Like, you're not willing to commit to it here. Maybe you're not wanting to commit just yet. Like, the devil does talk about, you know, honestly, you know, being bound and things like that. In a way, in a way, it can be committing. But at the same time, it may not be like you 100% want to commit yet. Commit to someone else, potentially, because you have the Nine of Pentacles here, which shows that you're independent. You know, you're good where you are. You're very comfortable. Okay? You don't really... Um, you don't really want to you don't want to break out of this you just got to a place where you start to see your abundance you're surrounded by all your abundance you're happy with yourself you've gotten to a place of stability security you're you're really confident in yourself but it's almost like you just you know you don't really want to commit to something else you don't want to be in a relationship not necessarily yet you know what i mean because i see just all you cards if this if i'm reading this king of pentacles as you 
um, it could be that there's another person that's keeping you from being able to break a certain connection. Perhaps there's something that's here that's keeping you bound to another connection here. Um, because here you have in your best path to follow the Eight of Swords. Like, it's talking about feeling trapped in your thoughts. And the Devil, in a way, is a card that can make you feel very trapped. But the thing here is with the Eight of Swords is that they're all in your head, right? It's all stuff that makes you, you know, that... It's all stuff that's in your mind that makes you feel that there isn't any options to move forward. Now, the eight of swords regarding your best path to follow is talking about just living in the moment and doing the best you can with what you know. Um, because, you know, there's no point in looking at the future and, you know, getting stressed out, like, or even looking at the past and getting stressed out. What can you do right now? Look at what's going on right now. Because the Eight of Swords does indicate, too, like, if you remember in the Right of Weight version, they have a, you know, it's t he's tied up and he's got a, um, a blindfold on, right? So she can't, he or she can't see anything. So the thing here is, is that, the thing here is, is that, they don't recognize that there's they if they trust their intuition and listen to what their emotions were saying because sometimes logically you know hashing things out may not be the you know just may not be helpful it just probably just kind of gets stands in the way because you know if you listen to your intuition I feel it will be able to push you forward it'll be able to you know you know you'll be able to take the steps you need to or you take off the blindfold and see what's exactly going on because you do have the sun in your current state of being. You have the sun here. You see all things, but and yet you're still stuck in your thoughts. You still, so you still feel trapped. And now the sun being in your current state of being, you have the high priestess in your feelings. So that automatically tells me that you know exactly how you feel. You know what you you know how you feel. And as a matter of fact, you could be honestly feeling that um, feeling highly intuitive right now. Um, like your intent, your intentions, your excuse me, your um, your emotions may be extremely heightened here, okay? Because the high priestess is in your emotions. But I feel like, like, yeah, I feel like at the same time too, there is a like a deep concealing of your emotions as well. You don't want anybody and everybody to know your business, which is understandable. You don't want everybody to know how you feel about stuff, why, how, about how you feel about, um, how you feel about you know whatever right you, you don't want to you, you're kind of holding that in it seems like the sun is exposing that the sun will expose everything that's in the dark so this is coming i feel like something's going to sync up with this believe it or not i believe it because like this is the devil and then you have the high priestess these two can very much sync up now with the with the hopes and fears you have the queen of queen of wands and this talks about you know being fiery right not necessarily like you know like being feisty and things like that but this can also indicate to me that you know being charismatic going out there and having a lot more fun right because like i was saying before the devil could be that you guys want to be a little you always want to go in a direction that's actually something that you want to go into now, as far as love goes you want a bit more passion in your love life right now it's just kind of like silence nothing moving really and or nothing really happening that's interesting or remotely interesting but it does take a risk to do this it's going to re it requires leaving your comfort zone and i feel like it kind of got comfortable in this nine of pentacles area that's why you're not willing to commit to anybody else because you can control yourself and it's good right i think there's an element of control here that you may feel like you don't really trust anyone else to to have right to to you know because this devil energy can also talk about power and control and the high priestess in your feelings like she's ultimately under control under the you know she's she's open she's and she's bringing things in she doesn't really have a lot of control believe it or not she does but in regards to how the message comes to her she has no control over that right she just she's always she's always in alignment right she's always open to the messages and i feel like there's just this there's this kind of longing to want to be to relinquish control in a very safe environment but then at the same time i feel like you want to be able to trust that you know that um that where you're getting or where the you know whoever you're relinquishing relinquishing control to they have you they have your back okay now in your outcome you have the strength card here okay and it talks about you know it talks about balancing 
you know, not necessarily balancing too much because this is really about willpower and strength and courage. Yes, in, this, in the outcome, yeah, there will be a need for courage because the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles for me, it could be you guys, but at the same time, I have a feeling that there's going to be some sort of opportunity or some sort of, you know, some sort of situation where someone may be, you know, may come to you. You have two cards to talk about sudden something suddenly happening. Eight of Wands, the Tower. They, some, something's coming. And I feel like this one we got reading is preparing you for this, right? This whole thing is like, hey man, something's coming. Someone's coming their way and they're going to offer you something. And it's going to require you, you to have some bravery. It's going to require you to say, okay, well, let's give it a shot. Because I feel like this person is, 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 is not one, not just only like very reliable, but they also, they come up as your king. Okay. They come up as your other half. If I wasn't going to read that King of Swords for as you guys. And the strength card is like, why else would you, why would you need strength? Why would you need to have courage? Well, because you are leaving a comfort zone. Because this is something that you've taken the time to build here. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at your whispers of love for this week. Let's see what, see what we get here. Oh, be willing to express, be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Yeah, see, that's why the high priestess is in your feelings. You guys have been kind of holding back a little bit. Like it's been kind of concealed. No one knows how you feel and you know how you feel. Yeah, which is great. But, um, yeah, you you guys have been kind of holding it back because you don't want to leave this. You know, if you the second you open up to love, the second you start expressing that love anyway, then you know the floodgates will open. You guys are very much aware of your manifestation abilities. This kind of happens almost effortlessly, and I can understand why that that can freak you out. But the second you open that door, that's when the things open. You know, that's when the you know the person that has been trying to come in will come in. So you have been open to love, but you haven't been open to love. If that makes sense, like if it's 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 like um, I don't want to. It's, it's slightly defensive, but slightly like you know, it's it's just really concealed. And I think it says express yeah, like go control issues. Wow, wow, wow. That's the card that comes up. Wow, and that's the devil. And uh, wow, it's the devil right there. Like I was saying, you want to relinquish your control to someone that you can trust. You don't want to trust, you don't want to just open up and just allow anybody to just, you know, have such, you know, overwhelming power over you, right? Like, you don't want that. But that's the thing, right? Nobody ever truly has power over you, not even in a relationship. You can love them to death, but, and they'll make you softer, but like that, that's the thing, like, you will always be under control. That's the thing. Strength reminds you that you always have control. You always have control. But yeah, the second you flip, may open these flood deck gates, the door will open, and you will require you will you will want to have strength here. You will want to have courage to deal with what comes through. I feel like whoever this is that's coming in, they're gonna they mean business. This is some pretty big preparation energy, guys. 